Step 1. Obtain your router information. Before starting the setup of your brother printer, you need to find and write down some very important information related to your wireless settings of your router. George will help you find that information. SSID. Let's find the name of your network called SSID, also known as the Service Set Identity. Click on the wireless network icon in the system tray. A window will open with a list of available networks. Please write down the information of the network that says connected. This is your SSID. Step 2. Activate the wireless card of your brother printer. Press Go four times. This will print the network configuration page. The first line of the page will indicate the status, and it should read Brother NC XXXXXW IEEE -E -E 802.11 B over G active. If the wireless card is not active, it must be reset to become active. To reset the wireless card, do the following. At the back of the printer, above the network connection, there is a small hole. Insert the tip of a pen in the hole and hold for 5 seconds. Release. The toner light will flash. Turn off the printer and turn it back on. Press Go 4 times. This will print the network configuration page. The text on the top right side of the page should now be node type brother nc xx xxxw iee -E -E 802.11 b over g active. Step 3. Establish a wireless connection between your brother printer and PC. Click on the wireless network icon in the system tray. A window will open with a list of available networks. Select Setup. Click Connect. Step 4. Establish a connection between your brother printer and your PC using the installation CD. George will show you how to do that. Insert the CD-ROM of your brother printer into the CD-ROM drive of your PC. Click on runstart.exe in the autoplay window. Select your model. Select your language. Select install printer driver according to your geographic region. Select wireless network users. Select wireless setup only. Click next. Select step-by-step -step install recommended. Click next. Select Without Cable, Advanced. Click Next. On the Next page, check the Checked and Confirmed box. Click Next. At the Changing the Computer's Wireless Settings window, click Next. On the Next page, check the Checked and Confirmed box. Click Next. At the Available Wireless Devices screen, choose the Brother printer you wish to set up. Click Next. At the Available Wireless Network screen, select the wireless network name, SSID, you wrote down earlier, and click Next. On the Attention window, click OK. At the Check the Connection result of the Wireless Setup screen, check Link OK and click Next. On the Next page, check the Checked and Confirmed box and click Finish. Wait two minutes and then press the Go button four times. The printer will print out a printer settings page. Find and write down the DHCP IP address on the third page in the IP settings section. Step 5. Establish a wireless connection between your PC and your original network. Click on the wireless network icon in the system tray. A window will open with a list of available networks and select the wireless network that you wrote down earlier and click Connect. Step 6. 
set up the driver of your Brother printer. From your taskbar, click on the Macro Media Player tab. Select Install Printer Driver according to your geographic region. Click on Wireless Network Users. Select Driver Install Only and click Next. At the License Agreement screen, read it and click Yes. Select Standard Installation and click Next. Select the Advanced Users option. Enter the DHCP IP address you wrote down earlier in the IP address section and click Next. Check the Set as Default printer and click Finish. At the Installation Completed window, select Yes, I want to restart my computer now. Click OK. Please note that you will need to reconnect to your network once Windows 7 has restarted. Your driver is now successfully installed. You should now be able to print wirelessly. Thank you for your support, George.